this afternoon I did some kick-ass uh, cleaning up in the garden. And I on purpose used tools that were putting strain on my forearms because I knew I hadn't trained them for a long time, really didn't pay attention to them. Just sort of, you know, more did, did when I do, was doing weights in the gym, I was more doing upper arms, etc. Yeah, never really anything lower arms. Let me show you something. So after two hours of doing that, right now I'm trying to here sort of hold that still and I'm not making that up. That is me trying to hold that bloody bottle of water still. <laughs> you can guess what happens tomorrow. I will bloody well know that I've done, overdone it. But what that taught me and what it reminded me of is that if you don't use muscles, they wither away, they atrophy as we call that. And as doctors, we know it. Use it or lose it. That's the ability as far as your body is concerned. So for us, that's clear as light. Yet, we often forget that the same is true for our recovery. These are perishable skills. So if you get too busy, if you don't pay attention to the self-love, if you actually don't pay attention to doing the basics for yourself, you're really no longer working on your recovery, you're working on your relapse. So the choice is up to you. From now on then, you might just have to get back into the training and realize, oh, that has gotten weak. So what has happened in my life? What did stop me? So that is the, the, the task that I give you. That is the challenge that you've got ahead of yourself. So think, when was the last time you truly looked after yourself? And what can you do right now to show yourself some love, show yourself the self-respect that you deserve because you have come a long way and you might have just let your guard a bit down as far as your recovery is concerned. Don't make that mistake. Go ahead, go out there, take time out for yourself. Look after yourself.